Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Hi, how's everyone doing? Doing good? Yes, teacher. Nice. Nice. Look. Happy to hear that. Thank you, teacher. We are going to give everyone a few minutes to join. I will start by sharing our agenda so we can review what we're going to continue with today. All right, so uh, let me know if you can see my screen, please. Can you see my screen? Yes, teacher, we can. Nice, thank you. Thank you, Katia. So as you can see uh, today, we are going to be starting on the introduction to the second section. But first, we are going to finish off with keep and need with gerunds. And while everyone joins, I would like to start by doing a review of gerunds. Here, I have an overview or a summary of what the gerunds are. So a gerund is a verb that has an ing ending and it's used as a noun. So for example, if we say swimming is my favorite sport, you're not saying that you are swimming or that someone else is swimming. You are using swimming, a verb with an ing at the end as a word, right? As a noun, as a general noun to say something. So having to get up early won't bother me at all. We can use this in three ways, in three different ways, using it with a verb, using it with another verb. That is, so two verbs. For example, we can say, let me write down, write this down. Let's see. Appreciate. And we can say, I appreciate you doing that for me. So I appreciate you doing that for me. Aprecio que hayas hecho eso por mí. Um, and we are using doing as a gerund here. Right, that's the gerund for, uh, let's do green for this example. We can also do it with a verb, a preposition, and then the gerund. So for example, Let's see, we can say about help with, and we can do the example of, I need help with fixing my computer, right? And we are using fixing as the gerund. And the final way that we can use it is with the verb to be, with an adjective, a preposition, and then the gerund. So a longer example, right? For example, we can do be capable of. So we, if we're going to use the verb to be, we need a subject, right? So you are, which is the verb to be, capable of, of is the preposition, of is the preposition, of doing anything that you want, 
right? Doing is our J round. Those are the three ways that we can use a J round. Do you understand what the J round is and how you can use it? Hello, no. And I would like to explain uh, much, uh, a little bit more, please. Okay. Can you, so, you? Yeah. So the J round is just a verb, any verb. We can say run, right? That's a verb in the present tense. So when you do a J round, when we want to do a J round, we are going to use a verb as a noun. We are going to assume that this verb is a noun. So we are going to add ing at the end. This is not the present continuous. We are using the verb as a noun. Estamos usando el verbo como una palabra, como un nombre. So, mm -hmm. I say, I go running in the mornings, right? So, uh -huh. I'm not saying that I am running. No estoy diciendo que estoy corriendo. I'm not saying that I'm running. I'm just saying that I go running. It's something that I do as if running was an action, a thing that I do. So it's not using, as, using it as a verb, but as something that I do. Another example, cook. Cook is a verb, right? If we do it as a gerund, we would use it, I uh, enjoy cooking for my family, right? No es en un tiempo presente, continuo. We're not using it as I am cooking, right? Porque no estoy usando el verb to be. I just mm -hmm. enjoy the action of cooking, right? Mm, okay. Is that better? Yes. Thank you very much. Awesome. Perfect. Anyone else have any other questions about Jerrams? All right. Uh, could yeah. you please give a, another example uh, with the first? Uh, Block bear plus gerund. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so let me make some space here. And if we do it with the bear plus gerund, so the section in green, I'm sorry, one second. Sorry for the noise. Okay, so if we do it with verb plus gerund, so the section in green, that means that we can combine a verb with the gerund. We know that a gerund is a verb used as a noun with ing at the end, so we can use it paired with another verb. For example, let's use um, recall. Recall is como I re yo recuerdo, right? I recall. I recall. sending you an email about it. Yo recuerdo enviado un correo sobre eso. I recall sending you an email about it. So it, I'm not saying um, that I am sending it, it right now. No estoy diciendo que lo estoy enviando en este momento ni que lo... Uh, I'm not using any specific tense or any specific moment. I am using sending the gerund as an action that I do. Otro ejemplo. Usamos um, resist. I am on a diet. I resist eating junk food, right? I am not resisting it, eating it right now or yesterday or tomorrow. I am in general, in general, resisting eating junk food as an action, as a thing. I'm not eating junk food, if that makes sense. Okay, thank you. 
Excellent. Any other questions you might have about gerunds? Let's review some examples in that case. Let's review, let me clear the screen and let's review some examples in that case. Let's go back to the examples that we were reviewing. And we see that for um, the scenarios where you are describing problems, you can use keep or need, right? So everything keeps burning, the alarm keeps going off, the oven needs adjusting. So it's not saying that it is being adjusted right now or that it was adjusted or that it will be adjusted. It's saying that it needs adjusting as an action and needs fixing, right? Let's do the knowledge check. What's super important is that we can also locate the correct form of the verb. So if I'm saying it, which ones would be incorrect? ¿Cuáles estarían incorrectas de las que pueden ver aquí, of the ones that you can see here? Just because the verb is not correct, the tense of the verb is not correct. One and four. One and four, that is right. Because if I'm saying it, it should be, Keeps the, the second keeps. that's right so it keeps right so that gives us mm -hmm. one two three four two. and five other options so my computer is driving me crazy it keeps breaking down yes. going dead freezing skipping which breaking. one do you think breaking down keeps breaking, breaking down, down. Breaking, down. Be breaking down all right, let's do breaking down and we'll review it later. Let's do number two. The buttons on the remote control always stick. They would be keep or keeps? Keep. 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 Right. So they keep going dead, keep crashing, keep jamming. Keep jamming. jamming. Keep, jamming. keep jamming, right? Because they get stuck. So they keep jamming. That used CD player often jumps to another song. Often or often, however you want to say it. Often jumps to another song. It keeps skipping. Keeps skipping. Keeps skipping. Keeps skipping. It's skipping the songs, right? It's let you listen to a song. Yes. Our new flat screen TV has a problem. It keeps freezing. Could be keeps freezing, could be keeps going dead. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Let's review. Going dead. These old cell phones never work right anymore. They? They keep, keep going dead. Keep going, going dead. Keep going dead. That makes sense. All right. So. Sometimes Ed can't use solar powered calculators. It it keeps, keeps breaking, down, breaking down, keeps going keeps dead. Breaking down. Breaking down, maybe. Yeah. Let's mm -hmm. review. We'll review them later. Another example. My computer screen needs to be replaced. It Keeps crashing. Keeps, Keeps freezing. Keeps freezing. All right, let's do that one. The answering machine never picks up any calls. It keeps crashing. Keeps crashing. What else could it be? Or keeps going dead. dead. Or it keeps going Quiet dead. Down. Let's review. We have partially correct all of them. Which one should we fix? Should fix number four. So our flat screen TV has a problem. It keeps going dead, keeps breaking down. 
So to a point, keeps going dead and keeps breaking down. They keep failing, right? So if, in my opinion, any of those would be correct, this is a matter maybe of context, but we don't really have a lot of context to review it with. So let's do keep breaking down. But the main exercise that we want to do is that you can choose the correct form of the verb and that you can get used to um, using the gerund, right? So breaking, going, crashing, jamming. And here you are using which of these examples? Verb plus gerund, verb plus preposition and gerund, or this form? So this is a verb, verb plus, plus, plus gerund. Right, so it's a verb plus the gerund. So the verb keep plus another verb in the form of a gerund. So keep jamming, keep crashing, <laughs> keep freezing, right? Any questions with this exercise? All right, so what we wanted to learn with this exercise and this topic is that you can explain the problem that you have, right? So a different example of something that you could use and maybe in your everyday work is that um, if we, I think we all use Excel for work or most of us use Excel for work, right? So we could say, um, Excel keeps freezing. I need to restart my computer, right? So it's a congelo and it's to reiniciar la compu. Um, let's see what else. What, uh, what other example can you think of using gerunds? Uh, Alejandra, I, yep. I want to I want to say uh, uh, I don't know I, I need to know is correct. For example, what happens is if I say um, the last class when I when I was receiving the class I was writing is correct. In in the case is year or, or is or, or, or what happened? Because it's, it's happened by the last uh, day. I don't know if it's correct. Uh -huh, the last class when I was receiving the class, I was, uh, no, driving, driving. Oh, driving. Driving. Right, it, so. It's, 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 cor it's correct or, or, or mm -hmm. So this would be the past continuous. Esto sería el pasado continuo, porque we are using uh, was, the verb to be. So when we are using gerunds, we don't use verb to be. Mm. We would say, usamos as a uh, example. We could say, okay. for example, um, <laughs> let's see. What could we say about that? I remember receiving mm -hmm. the class while driving. Oh. So I remember receiving. This is uh, a gerund, right? Excellent, excellent, excellent. Thank you very much. Awesome. Great exercise. Food for thought. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you. Nice. All right. So let's review some additional vocabulary. Um, today, earlier today, I sent you some vocabulary to WhatsApp about electronics, knowing that we would go into this topic of electronics. So we'll go ahead and watch the video, review some of the content so that we can start reviewing this type of vocabulary and we can do some more exercises using it.
Hello, we want you to work on the following sentences. You may complete them by using the correct form of keep and the words in the box. This time, you will do this exercise on your notebook and ask your teacher to check them for you. My computer is driving me crazy. The buttons on the remote control always stick. They. The UCD player often jumps to another song. It. Our new flat screen TV has a problem. It. Those old cell phones never work right anymore. They. Sometimes Ed can't use his solar powered calculator. It, my computer screen needs to be replaced. It, the answering machine never picks up any calls. It, so let's go back. This listening is based on the exercise we just did. So what we're going to do now is review the sentences all together. Are there any words here about the vocabulary that you don't know? ¿Hay alguna palabra que no conozcan about this vocabulary? Yes, Flick, flicker. Let's see, which number is that? In the box. Oh, okay, flicker. Right. So when something flickers, it goes like this. So you're, the light on your phone or your computer is going in and out. That's flickering. Okay. Yep. Any other words? Overheat. It's just Overheat. A right. Exactly. That's what it means. Something gets too hot, so it overheats. Then it may turn off or break down. Any other words that you don't know? We already reviewed what jam is. You know what freeze is, get stuck, right? On the same screen. Uh, everyone knows what solar powered is? Yeah. Yes. Awesome. All right. Let's move on. Big down. Yeah. Which one? Big down, the first. Indeed. Oh, break down? Yes. Machine. So Computer when something breaks down, it stops working. So it breaks oh, down, okay. it might be that it's not working anymore, a piece fell out, so it doesn't turn on, so it breaks down. My car is not turning on, it broke down. When right? you finish uh, some activity? I'm sorry? When you finish uh, some activity, for example, big down? <clears throat> I'm sorry. Go again. Uh, break down when you finish some activity. Oh, um, so if you say that you you personally break down when you finish an activity, you're saying that you're super tired and that you just you can't do it anymore and that you are too tired to continue. So if you say that you broke down, it's that you are super over and you can't do it anymore. Oh. Yeah, um, what you can say, like in a positive way, if you want to, I can break down the contents of a subject, right? So that means to separate into different pieces so it's easier to understand. For example, I broke down the uh, contents of the module into different topics so that we could review. So that's a different meaning. Ese es un significado diferente to break down, to separate into categories or topics. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Very well. 
let's do some more exercises. We will do a listening exercise. Let me share the new screen here with you. One second. so we can listen to the exercise. Listen to three people talk about their job. Complete the chart. One, Joe. I work in the watch repair center at a large department store. I repair all kinds of watches. But nowadays, most of them are pretty easy to fix because they all run on batteries. The most common problem is they need a new battery. Since that only takes a minute or so to fix, I always have plenty of time to tell my watch jokes, like this one. What time is it when an elephant sits on your watch? Time to buy a new watch. And here's another one. What time is it when the big hand is on the... Two. All right, so for number one, what does Joe repair? Watch. Watches. Watch. 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 Right. And what's the typical problem with the watches? Please, um, use on your battery. Replace. The batteries. All right. So they just need to replace it. Replaces. Let's listen to number two. <coughs> Louise. I repair luggage, mostly suitcases. I have a little shop at the airport. People spend a lot of money on luggage, and often all it takes is one flight for a suitcase to get damaged. The most typical problem, I guess, is the wheels. I fix the wheels on about 20 suitcases a week. It's not surprising, really, with the way those baggage handlers throw people's luggage around. You'd think they were playing ball the way they toss the suitcases. All right, so what does this person repair? Luggage. What? Luggage. Luggage. Luggage, that's Luggage. right. Luggage or suitcases, right? What you carry with you when you go on a flight or a trip. And what's the typical problem that happens with luggage or the suitcases? Wheels. Wheels. The wheels. They throw them around and they get broken and they need repairing. Let's review number three. Three, Sam. I repair household appliances. The most frequent calls I get are from people who are having trouble with the garbage disposal system in their kitchen sink. Usually, the thing gets jammed because people put too much food into it at one time, or something metal or plastic has fallen down into it. It's usually pretty easy to fix a garbage disposal, but every once in a while, you run into situations that aren't exactly typical. One time, a little girl put her doll down into the disposal. She thought the doll would enjoy the ride. She couldn't get it back out again, and she was afraid to tell her mother. So when the mother went to use the disposal, it made a horrible noise and then died. And so did the doll. All right. Wow. What does he repair? He's a garbage disposal. Garbage machine. Garbage disposal machines. That's right. Let's listen to the audio again, the whole audio, so that we can review the answers and also that you can listen to words that you may not know and we can go over those words later.
Listen to three people talk about their job. Complete the chart. One, Joe. I work in the watch repair center at a large department store. I repair all kinds of watches. But nowadays, most of them are pretty easy to fix because they all run on batteries. The most common problem is they need a new battery. Since that only takes a minute or so to fix, I always have plenty of time to tell my watch jokes, like this one. What time is it when an elephant sits on your watch? Time to buy a new watch. And here's another one. What time is it when the big hand is on the... Two, Louise. I repair luggage, mostly suitcases. I have a little shop at the airport. People spend a lot of money on luggage, and often all it takes is one flight for a suitcase to get damaged. The most typical problem, I guess, is the wheels. I fix the wheels on about 20 suitcases a week. It's not surprising, really, with the way those baggage handlers throw people's luggage around. You'd think they were playing ball, the way they toss the suitcases. Three, Sam. I repair household appliances. The most frequent calls I get are from people who are having trouble with the garbage disposal system in their kitchen sink. Usually, the thing gets jammed because people put too much food into it at one time, or something metal or plastic has fallen down into it. It's usually pretty easy to fix a garbage disposal, but every once in a while, you run into situations that aren't exactly typical. One time, a little girl put her doll down into the disposal. She thought the doll would enjoy the ride. She couldn't get it back out again, and she was afraid to tell her mother so when the mother went to use the disposal, it made a horrible noise and then died. And so did the doll. All right. Now that we've reviewed and listened again, are there any words that you don't know? Cloudy. Yeah. Which one? Cloudy of time, something like that. Uh, in the second one, or the first one, or third one? The first one. He says something, uh, plody, plody of time, something like that. Oh, plenty of times. He says plenty of times. Plenty of times, or plenty of times. So that means a lot of the time. A lot of the time. Plenty of times, very often. It didn't sound like, like plenty. It was something was like, like cloudy or bloody or something like that. Let's review. Let's hear if that's what, what he's saying. Listen to three people talk about their job. Complete the chart. One, Joe. I work in the watch repair center at a large department store. I repair all kinds of watches, but nowadays, most of them are pretty easy to fix because they all run on batteries. The most common problem is they need a new battery. Since that only takes a minute or so to fix, I always have plenty of time to tell my wife. Right there, that, plenty I, of time. Yes. Yep, so it's plenty of time. So he's saying that he has, say, I have plenty of time. So he has a lot of time, right? Any other words? Teacher, I do the exercise um, the, uh, uh, in this moment and the answer the 1.1 1. 1. 1 and the last one is felt is, Wow. 1.1. Let's review. The, the battery. battery and the garbage. Battery. 
Yes. So let's listen. So he says that yes. the typical problem with the watches is that they need a new battery, right? Yes, a battery, yeah. And I so, put a new battery too. And no, yeah. it's, it's, it's bad too. Okay, no problem. Let's review. Has it happened to you? I'm going to share another screen. Has it happened to you that sometimes the platform asks for a very specific answer? Yeah. So sometimes you know that it's just a point that goes in the end um, or we are we just need to listen to uh, how they are saying it. So for number one, how are you typing down? Let's do a white screen here. Share screen, we'll do a whiteboard. How are you typing down the answer for number 1.1? Are you doing needs a new battery? Or new battery? Or maybe it needs a new batteries. They need new without S. Yeah, but no, not, not. Without they battery. need a new battery. Because it's without or, it, or need a new battery. Or need a new yes. battery? Yes, need a new battery. New a new battery. Yes. No. That's right. Need so if we are battery. saying it needs a new battery or no. need a new battery. So it would be it need they need a new battery. So we're talking about watches. Mm -hmm. So we're saying they, right? They. So they need a new battery. Yeah. Or need a they, new battery. No, mm -hmm. they need a new battery. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. They there we need go. Yeah. Need a new battery mm -hmm. should also yes. let you get it correct as well. Need a new battery. They need a new battery. Yeah. Or just need a new battery. Yes. <clears throat> And the platform, right. the, the, the correct is the, the need a new battery. Nice. So the platform allows for multiple answers para que ustedes puedan poner diferentes respuestas. So need a new battery, they need a new battery, mm -hmm. and also need, they a, new need a new battery, battery the correct at answer. the end, right? Mm -hmm. So any of those answers should be okay. Now for 1.11 yeah. the last one the last one mm -hmm. number three garbage disposal is not right Dispo yeah. Yeah. Yep. household appliance household appliance because he's talking about has household appliances at the end of the mm -hmm. sorry at the beginning of oh, the oh, oh. So if we listen, mm -hmm. or maybe because they uh, talk talk about uh, uh, too much. Mm -hmm. So at the beginning of audio number three, he says that he's talking about that he repairs household appliances. Let's mm -hmm. Listen. Household appliance. I repair household appliances. That's where he says it. So even if he's talking about garbage disposals, which is the most usual thing that he has to fix, what he repairs in general are household appliances. Household appliances can be garbage disposals, they can be refrigerators, kitchens, any electronic that goes in the house. Do you Hi. Uh, what do you write this word? You household. write it down by using yeah. household appliances. Household. Household is, is a, a lot of thing to repair, no? Right. Going so to the house. That appliances that go in the house, like <laughs> fridges, kitchens, um, washing machines, dryers, uh, garbage disposals, right? Mm -hmm. So all of those things can be household appliances. 
Ovens, microwaves, heaters, coolers, air conditioning. Okay. Postal mm -hmm. appliances. All right. Yeah. Perfect. And then we will move into a reading exercise. When we move to the reading exercise, we see that we have the lecture for trading spaces. Let's open it big. Can you read that? Can you see it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So we will take turns to read the trading spaces lecture. Okay, we will go turn and turn and each of you will read about a sentence or up to uh, the point, right? So when you see a point, hasta donde llegue el punto, that's where we will read. For example, I will, I will start and then I will call someone's name. So let's say, how sure, fast, you, I'm sorry? What is, the, what is the meaning of a scheme? Where is it? No, they skim the article. Part, so or... skimming the article, when you skim a text, it means that you just go over it. You don't really read it. You just lo ojeo. I just go over it. So I skim the article. I got it. Perfect. Mm -hmm. All right. So. I will start and then I will call someone's name. I will start right here. How fast can a home remodeling project be completed? Let's move on to Dalia. Let's read this sentence. Okay. How fast can a home remodeling project be completed? About 48 hours, at least, that the base, the basis of the popular reality TV show called Trading Spaces. Right. The reality TV show called Trading Spaces. Thank you. Trading Spaces. Okay. Trading Spaces. The next one. To uh, see the neighborhood. We will, uh, we will do uh, someone else. We will just read a brief sentence, each one. So we will move on to Leymar. Please read this section. Okay. Two sets of neighbors switch homes for two days and redecorate a single room in their neighbor's home. Excellent. Thank you. Rigoberto, let's read this section. Both teams have the hall of a designer, a handyman, and a budget of 1,000 at the end of the second day. And the budget of $1,000. Do you know what a budget is, everyone? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, yeah. I don't know. Nice. I don't know. You okay, so a budget. Anyone that can explain a budget? Right. Yes, it's about the money. Exactly. So you have a limit for example. The cost. No, the price of the budget is like uh El dinero que uno tiene disponible. O, so a presente. budget is the estimate amount of money mm -hmm. you have available. So you have a budget of, let's say, $3,000 for this project, right? So that's the money that you have available to fulfill a project. Right? 
That's a budget. In Spanish? That's correct. Se puede traducir aproximado. En la traducción directa es presupuesto. Presupuesto. Yeah. All right. Let's continue with Ivania for this last section. The host revealed the room to the homeowners who usually say, wow, that's great. Sometimes, however, they get upset. Excellent. The host reveals the rooms to the homeowners. Do you know what homeowners are? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Los dueños. Yes. Los dueños. That is right. The owners of the home. The homeowners. Okay. Let's move on to Ana Pineda. Let's read this section up until... Up until here, up until here. Is this reality TV realistic? Up to the point the designers actually uh, actually get videotapes of the rooms and plan out every step beforehand. Excellent, thank you. Before and that. let's continue with Roxana Mendoza. Let's continue even. Teacher, I cannot see. It's a small, the, the letter is small for me. Let me zoom in. So that would be here. Starting at even. Beforehand. Okay. beforehand means to do something prior before something else happens even the materials are purchased in advance it's the say at home when designers sell thank you roxana uh, the even the materials are purchased in advance in advance i'm sorry all right i Let's... don't understand that sentence even the materials are purchased in advance? Yes, you buy the, the materials uh, before? Yeah, that's right. That's what it means. So the materials are purchased or are bought before the TV show happens. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Awesome. Let's continue with Juan Jose. Let's read this section right here. If you don't want a project to last for months, you need a game plan. Excellent. Perfect. We'll continue with Doris Aime. Please read this space right here. Oh, it's me. Hello. If not, let's continue with Maritza. Let's read this space right here. Okay. Everybody thinks trading spaces is totally real, but trading spaces is the totally not real. Excellent. Thank you so much, Maritza. Thank you. All right. Let's continue. We'll continue with... Hello? All right, so let's... What's your question? Hello? Yes. You're breaking down. You're breaking That's off. Can you type your question in the trading. chat? Trading. Trading? Trading means Let me see. To switch something. 
So trading spaces, they are trading households. So you are trading your house for someone else's house. You can trade cars. You can trade your car for another person's car. You can trade, um, it's a trueque, right? So you can trade your clothes for someone else's clothes. Thank you very much. Awesome. All right. Let's continue with Katia. Let's read this section here. Okay, teacher. Mm. Said a woman who appeared on the show. If we didn't, if we didn't do something on camera, right? We had to do it again. You become an actor. Excellent, Katia. Thank you so much for reviewing that. Let's continue with Marvin. Let's read this sentence. So, how happy are the owners after their remodeling? Generally, the participants are thrilled. Thrilled. Does thrilled. everyone know what thrilled is? No. no. So, uh, this comes from like, have you heard, obviously, you've heard Thriller by Michael Jackson, right? So, happy. you know Thriller. Yeah, okay. So, Thriller... If you're thrilled, it can be something positive or negative. So if you're, it can mean that you are scared, if, if you're thrilled, but generally thrilled, if you say that you are thrilled means that you are Happy. super excited about something. So mm -hmm. I'm thrilled for it, excited. Excited, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Maravin. Okay, let's continue, Sergio. Let's finish reading, starting from what? I start in but. Yes, please. Okay. But one couple in Portland, Oregon, hated their new room. Thank you. They hated their new room. Wow, rough. Okay. Mm -hmm. We will continue with Marcela. Please start in there. Their comfortable but cramped family room was transformed into a dark movie theater. Into a dark movie theater. That's not good. Okay, thank you, Marce. Let's continue. What is cramped? Cramped. Does anyone know what cramped is? Like I think, like um, like um, a little bit wrong. So cramped means that there are a lot of things in the same place. So Ooh. my room is very cramped because I have lots of things and I don't fit in there because there's just too many things. So it's very cramped. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay, thank you. Awesome. The parking lot is cramped. I can't find any place to park. It's too cramped. Excellent. Good question. Let's continue with Javier, Javier Mundo. Okay. But you didn't see that on the show. You didn't see me crying, say Shannon Pitts. They edited it out of the show. Thank you so much, Javier. So they edited it out of the show. They edited it out. Mm -hmm. Perfect. That's not good. Okay. Let's continue reading Bunny until TV. That's the key.
Hello. Are you there? Bunny. I think she might be having some issues with her mic, but as for right now, let's continue with Alexander Munoz, please, for this sentence. Okay. It truly really was an unfortunate room. Say it's complete. All you could do was watch TV. Thank you. All you could do was watch TV. And okay. because of the time, I will just finish the reading. So it says, so they found themselves remodeling their own space again. But even though Shannon and Scott didn't like the way their family room turned out, they'd still be on the show again. They'd, they would, right? Mm -hmm. They would still be on the show again. Why? They loved redecorating oh. their neighbor's place. Any other words that you don't know from this reading? That you would like to know what they mean? Do you know all of the other words? All right, so in that case, let's review the questions. Let's see, do the participants of the show get assistance from experts? <clears throat> let's read, read. so. False. It's true. Is it true? Do they get assistance from experts? Yes, a designer, yes. a handyman. Designer. Excellent. <laughs> Let's review. Whoops, sorry. Okay, here we go. Now, number two, the project sometimes take months to complete. Is that true or false? False because oh. it's 48 hours. In which paragraph does it say? In the, um, first, the first one. Right, oh, in the first in the one. Yeah. About 48 hours. And that's the basis of the popular reality TV show called Trading Spaces. Number three, many participants redecorate their homes after the show. Is that true? True. Right. It's not given. Yes. Not given is like even doesn't say. Exactly. Uh, But here we have it in this section right here. It says it's they found case. themselves remodeling their own space again. Yeah. So they do remodel their homes again. The people who appear on the show are actors. Is that true or false? False. 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 Exactly. Reality shows aren't always entirely honest. True or false? True. 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 Exactly. And the pits are no longer friends with the neighbors. See mm. what this says about the pits? Not, Not giving them. them. All right. Let's review your answers. We need to review number three. Many participants redecorate their homes after the show, but we are reading that here. So it should be true. Right, but maybe because it says many and it, it mm -hmm. was only a couple. It was gay. Exactly. One case. 
So would it be false or not given? What do you not say? Given. Not given. Not given. Okay, let's review. Yes, not given. There we go. So we cannot assume that all of them redecorate their homes based on the uh, based on the couple itself, but it does happen. So we don't know. It's not given. Yeah. All right. Any questions that you have based on the exercise and the reading? No, no question. Oh, no. All right. In that case, it is nine o'clock and I will see you tomorrow for the final day of our first week so we can continue yeah. reviewing the topic. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Have a good Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye.